Hey guys, this is Test 43, Game 3. This is the Artist's Paintings game with the Museum and Private Collector. It's an ordering game. We know this because we're assigning the paintings to the first, second, or third period, and also placing them on the Museum or Private Collector level. Now, I've drawn a lot here, but don't worry, I'll explain all of that. Let's start for now on the left side of the page with the rules. We've got SP, S is the private collector occurring before Z, which is on the museum level. So S subscript PC for private collector, dash Z, M for museum. That's one before the other. Next, we've got that Q is not earlier than T, meaning that T is before Q. T is less than or equal to Q. Equal to would be meaning a vertical box occurring simultaneously on the same period. So maybe they're going simultaneously, or maybe T is before Q. We don't know which one, but we do know that it's never Q before T. Then we've got that V is on the second period, so I can just put a little V above the second column for the second period. Now I've drawn three different diagrams here to create three different main diagrams. I've done this because we know that S is before Z. Now regardless of whether they're on the same level or not, that holds true. So we have three different possibilities. Either we have neither on one and then have S on two private collector and then Z on three for museum, or we have neither on two, meaning S is on one for private collector and Z is on three for museum, or we have neither on three, meaning S is on one for private collector and Z is on two for museum. So these are the three different main diagrams I draw for this game. Now, of course, we know that V is always on the second level, so on the top diagram, the second column for the second period, so on the top diagram, V will have to go on museum for two. On the middle diagram, we don't know exactly where it's going, but then on the bottom diagram, we definitely have V on two for private collector. So if you like, you could do V slash slash V on the middle diagram because we don't know exactly which level museum or private collector V is going to, but it is one of those two. And this is really all we can put down initially, and this is our main diagram for the game. Now, question number 13 is a typical orientation question. You just want to take one rule at a time and apply that rule to all five choices looking for violations. So I think one thing that's easy to look for is V being on two, the second period. If you scan through all five choices, you will find that choice D violates this because D has V on three rather than on two as is required by the third rule of the game. Next, you could look for S being a private collector before Z being museum. Look through all, all the four remaining choices and you find that choice C, you should find that choice E, I'm sorry, E is violating that rule by having them occur simultaneously. So for that reason, E is eliminated. You also find that choice C has S on the museum level, whereas S needs to be on the private collector level as the first rule indicates. So for that reason, C is gone. We're now down to A and B. And we find that A violates the rule about T being before or equal to Q. It actually has Q occurring before T, which is unacceptable based on the second rule of the game, leaving B by process of elimination for number 13. Next, number 14, if we have S on 2, so we are referring specifically to the top diagram here. What could be two of the three bought by the private collector? Well, the private collector is pretty open-ended, right? We don't really know what's happening there. But we do know that neither V nor Z could ever be on the private collector level because they must be on the museum level. So for that reason, any choice mentioning either V or Z is automatically eliminated. So A mentions Z and is gone. B is okay for now. C mentions V, so that's eliminated. D mentions Z, so that's gone. And E mentions Z, so that is gone, leaving B by process of elimination for number 14. Next, number 15, what could be any of the paintings, any painting that could ever appear on the first period for the private collector level? So let's think about, you know, it's pretty open-ended, obviously. We see that, that level, that slot, first period, private collector, is open-ended in the top diagram, 
whereas in the bottom diagram, of course, we have S. So any choice, we know that S works, so any choice mentioning S will keep any choice not mentioning S is automatically eliminated. Now, A is the only choice not mentioning S, so that's eliminated off the bat. But let's think about, you know, what could never be on that slot, the first period private collector. We know that V is always on 2, so that could never be there. And we know Z is always on 2 or 3, so that could never be there. So basically, everything but V and Z could at some point appear on the first, the first column private collector slot. Anything meaning Q, R, S, or T. So Q, R, or T could be on the top diagrams number one private collector slot, and then S could be there for, S must be there for the other two diagrams. So for that reason, D is our answer to number 15. Next, number 16, if we have S on the second period, so we're referring to the top diagram here, then they're asking us what could immediately precede Q and be sold to the same buyer. So if something's going to immediately precede Q, then we know Q is not going to be on any of the slots number one, because then nothing would be preceding it, it would already be first. So we're going to put Q right now on the only remaining slot, which is the third period private collector level. So the thing that's sold to the same, the, the thing that immediately preceding it and sold to the same buyer would be S. S is immediately before Q and on the same level, meaning the same buyer. So for that reason, B, S, is our answer to number 16. Next, number 17. If we have Z on the same level as T and immediately preceding it, so we're talking about a ZT horizontal block and on the same level specifically, where could that occur? It won't occur in the first or second diagrams because those have nothing occurring immediately after T. Z is not preceding anything in those two. It must be the bottom diagram and we'll have to put T on museum 3. Now we know that T is before or equal to Q according to the second rule of the game. So for that reason, Q will have to go simultaneous with it on the same period, meaning vertical column, since we cannot have room for Q after it. And that, of course, leaves R to be on Museum 1. So everything is fully determined. This is what we're using to run through the choices. So they're just asking us what must be true. Q on the museum. No, Q is specifically private collector, so A is gone. Q is in the third period. Yes, we have Q on 3, so B is our answer to 17. I will run through the rest, though. R, private collector. No, R is specifically museum. C is gone. R is in the third period. No, R is on 1, so D is gone. And then R, same buyer as V. No, R is museum. V is private collector, so E is gone, leaving B by elimination.